cabin E189 on Carnival Paradise. And this is a upper lower cabin. As you can see, they have two twin beds, one lower and one upper. This bed actually should have a ladder and it's actually missing from the cabin. We just got in the cabin. So we're gonna have to ask our Stuart where our ladder is, but uh, I did find the ladder. It was actually under the bed. So if you can't find your ladder in this, this particular cabin, look under the bed and that's where it's gonna be located. I've stayed in one of these before. It's actually pretty roomy, has lots of space. And uh, it's not a bad cabin. I'm sailing with a friend, so this works out for us just fine. Uh, it does look like the televisions have been upgraded on Paradise. And uh, it's a lot larger than the uh, last upper lower cabin we stayed in, which is on Elation, same class of ship. Uh, this cabin is on deck seven and you can see the location right there we're all the way in the rear of the ship a uh, little red dot we'll take you on a little tour you have a small nightstand here has some storage space you have several lights here and switches that is the overhead actually the switches on these are on the end. And like I said, this is missing the ladder. That's a twin up there. Doesn't look like the mattress is, is, is as thick, but there's lights up here as well. There's a switch right there. You can cut that one on and off. Your air conditioning vents right there, and there's a control. I don't know how much good it does adjusting that control. It's turned all the way open, but it does feel good in here. It feels cool, but it's also cool outside. So here we have a desk. Looks like you have two 120 volt outlets and you have two USBs. Uh, and then you have a 220 over here with your phone and phone jack. And uh, you have a desk area with stool, trash can underneath. There's a drawer here that ha usually has your hair dryer. And yeah, there's your hair dryer and your little mini fridge. It's kind of hit or miss if these work. This one actually does not feel very cold. So I doubt this one's working at all. And of course you have two cabinets here. The life jackets are up top. That's a full length one there. And another one here. It has a uh, kind of divided in half of the shelf hangers and you have your safe this is just one of these standard uh, safes that use a punch code that you'll program and it could probably hold a very small laptop or tablet two towels of course to use at the pools or the beach and you have several drawers here This cabin only sleeps two, so you don't have a lot of storage space considering it just sleeps two, so it's only gonna be adequate for uh, two persons. Um, one thing also to know is usually you can slide your suitcases underneath the bed here, which is normally what we do. But in this cabin, you have enough space that you can put them at the end of the bed there and it's not a big deal. Uh, moving to the bathroom, uh, you have your racks here for your towels, plenty of towel racks, the toilet, your sink, you have a mirror there. And there's some storage space, you got a shelf there and you can put stuff around the sink. You also have some storage down below here for like paper products. I actually like the bathrooms in these cabins. I like the layout. They seem easier to uh, to just move around in because they're, they're laid out a little bit better than the ones that are kind of in the corner. Um, here you have cloth shower curtain, of course, your removable shower head, 
and pull this off and use it however you need to. You can also adjust, you can adjust this down by loosening this knob here. It's pretty tight, I can't get it to loosen up right at the moment, but you can loosen that and it'll slide up and down for you. And uh, you also have uh, bath products. They provide you with shower gel and shampoo. This stuff is not bad. I've used it before. And then of course you have a clothesline here. It's kind of a weird spot to have it. Normally it's up high and out of the way, but that's kind of like an awkward place. And that's pretty much it. Uh, not the biggest bathroom, but it suffices. The layout kind of makes up for the small space. But this again is cabin E189 upper lower on deck seven of Carnival Paradise. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, again, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please share us with all your friends and family. And also check out our website, cruisingaddicts.com. Happy sailing.